Good afternoon, I'm Debbie from Testa's Pantry, and today we are keeping it simple. Does your family start thinking about Thanksgiving and all of the all of the recipes that we're going to be pulling out early? Do we do that at the end of October, the beginning of November? Well, our family does. So anyways, we've been talking about it, and I had to order my turkey ahead of time, and we've been talking about sides and who's making what. Well, one thing is for sure, we like to keep it simple, especially this year because World Cup is starting the week before Thanksgiving, so we need to keep everything simple so we can sit down and really enjoy that. But anyways, Brussels sprouts is one of the simplest dishes you can make. So awesome because it's very versatile and you can flavor them up differently every time. I, I got this stock at the farmer's market last week and I pulled off all of the Brussels sprouts. And I have some in the oven now that I've done just with a little bit of olive oil and some salt. And I'm gonna put some feta cheese on that after when we pull it out in a little while. So, but this batch I'm going to make up, I'm gonna do with some garlic. We're gonna do some garlic and some pancetta. So here's our garlic and I wanna mince it. I don't like it to be too, large and we want to make sure that it gets nice and crispy actually the crispy leaves of the um, of, of the gar um, excuse me of the of the sprouts when they fall off as you clean them you have you know little pieces like that my grandchildren call them Brussels sprout chips and they love the chips when they get nice and crispy. So anyways, we are going to put some of this garlic in and that's going to get crispy as well. And we're also in this batch going to use a little bit of pancetta. Pancetta makes a really nice accompaniment to Brussels sprouts. The fat renders very nicely, but you can do it you can do it vegetarian without using the pancetta, like the one in the oven right now. So I'm going to use a half of a container, so that's about four ounces of pancetta, and two cloves of garlic, and I hope I'm going to mix it with about, about two, three tablespoons of our Nocellara EVOO. This Nocellara is buttery but pungent and it is from Sicily and it's all all of our olive oils are single grove grown which means that they're not blends of extra virgin olive oil they are just one variety one variety of olives that is collected from the small farm and crushed on the premise and I don't know if you knew this, but this is something new that I've been learning because all olive oils are now mechanically extracted. They are all first cold pressed. They are not heat pressed. A heat pressed oil is a refined oil and these are not refined. Okay, so this is ready to go on. It's about a tablespoon of salt, our Nocellar EVOO, and some two cloves of garlic minced, and four ounces of pancetta. So I'm going to put that on the tray over here and spread it out so that it's all in a single layer. And that is just about ready to go in. I'm going to check on the, the other tray that's in there right now because I want to add some feta to it. So I'm going to take that out. Yes, these are just about done. Let me put a little bit of feta on top of that. This is a little different. Now you don't have to use feta, but it gives it some extra saltiness, gives it a little bit more flavor, and that's probably about two ounces of feta right there that I'm putting on 
the Brussels sprouts now. I'm going to toss that around so that it melts a little bit. Put the other one in the oven. That's the one with the pancetta. Now that will roast for about 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long. It takes about 15 minutes. So let's put this batch of Brussels sprouts that was done with our nocellara and some salt and about two ounces of feta. And then I'm going to do something a little special to this. I am going to drizzle. So now some of these, the, the larger Brussels sprouts were cut in half. The smaller ones I left whole. So you can play around with it however, whatever size you want. Some of the larger ones in the past, I even quartered. quartered. I'm sorry, that was a little loud. All right, I'm going to take now our Balsamico di Modena IGP Oro. This has been aged for about 15 years in Slovenian oak, and it makes a really lovely accompaniment to roast vegetables. So we're going to drizzle that. It's almost like a glaze, it's so thick, but nothing has been added to this. It's just aged grapes at the Ashitaya. All right, doesn't that look beautiful? And this is so simple. Thanksgiving simplified. <laughs> Anyways, thank you and you take care.